Welcome. Let's take a look at determining the area between a function f of x equals 1 over 1 plus x squared and the x-axis on the interval from negative 1 to 1. Notice that for this particular function the numerator is 1 and therefore positive. The denominator is x squared plus 1. So if I input a negative value for x, when I square it that quantity becomes positive and then I add 1, the denominator becomes an even larger positive number. If I happen to input 0 for x, my denominator will not be 0, rather my denominator will be 1. So um, certainly our function is continuous. There's no um, way for the denominator to equal 0 across the real numbers. and since the function lies entirely above the x-axis because the function is always positive, then certainly we can find the area between the function and the x-axis on that interval. So we do that by integrating from negative 1 to 1 the function 1 over 1 plus x squared dx. Now part of the challenge here is recognizing the derivative of what function is equal to 1 over 1 plus x squared. Well, that function is the arctangent or the inverse tangent function. So the derivative of the inverse tangent function is 1 over 1 plus x squared so the antiderivative of 1 over 1 plus x squared should equal the inverse tangent of x. Now we're going to evaluate that function between x equals negative 1 and x equals 1. So uh, substituting in the upper limit of integration, the inverse tangent of 1 is what we get and now we subtract the inverse tangent of negative 1. Now at this point we need to know what these quantities are. So what we're interested in is inverse tangent equals 1 or what angle has a tangent of 1? Well the angle that has a tangent of 1 is the angle pi over 4 minus, and now we want an angle that has a tangent of negative 1. And just as a reminder, the domain for the tangent function is negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. So I need an angle between negative pi over 2 and positive pi over 2 that has a tangent equal to negative 1. Well, that angle happens to be negative pi over 4. And so when I add these together, I get 2 pi over 4, or more simply, pi over 2. So the area between the function f of x equals 1 over 1 plus x squared and the x-axis on our interval from negative 1 to 1 is pi over 2. I hope you find this helpful.